Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new Trains Are Awesome video. I'm Tom, and if you look at the number down below, you'll see that we have just passed the milestone of 7,000 subscribers. Woohoo! Uh, you may be wondering, 7,000, like, that's great, but there's not really a special number, is it? No, it's not, until you realize that I'm running a train-themed YouTube channel here in Chicago. Now, Chicago's rapid transit system is called the L. It's operated by the CTA. And currently, there are three different train types running on the L. The 2600 series, the 3200 series, and the 5000 series. But recently, there's been a new addition to the fleet. I'm talking about the 7000 series. The silver cars with the blue fronts are the newest member of the L family. The CTA 7000 series. A total of 400 cars were ordered to replace the 2600 series trains, and there's also an option to order another 446 cars. 400 cars means 200 sets because these trains run in what they call married pairs, two cars permanently coupled together. The CTA runs all their trains like this. They were built by CRRC, a Chinese train manufacturing company. CRRC actually built a new factory right here in Chicago to build these trains. The first prototypes were delivered in 2020 and began testing on various lines. Some of these tests were in passenger service. 2022 saw the start of the full production sets being delivered, and this will continue all the way into 2024. Right now, however, they are still not in regular passenger service. It still is possible to ride them. The 7000 series are currently running tests on the blue line, but while they do so, they are taking passengers as well. Specifically, the trains run on morning rush hour trains on the blue line between O'Hare and UIC Halsted Station. Now, I've been trying to ride the 7000 series for the past two years almost, but the thing is, the CTA never officially announces where and when they're going to run. So I've had to rely on things like internet forums and text messages from friends here in Chicago uh, to find out where they've been running. Now that they're on the blue line doing those trains to UIC, I actually see them every day because I take the blue line to get to work. However, they're always running in the opposite direction and unfortunately I can't just show up to work late. So. I've seen the 7000 series a bunch of times, it's been my goal for so long to ride them, but I haven't so far. But somebody else in my family has. You see, my amazing wife Lindsay is also a commuter on the L, and recently when she took a trip on the Blue Line, she got to experience what I've been wanting to do for the past two years. Lindsay got to take a ride on the 7000 series. And to celebrate 7,000 subscribers here on Trains Are Awesome, we're giving you a look into what these cool new trains look like on the inside. Finally, we get to review the interior. Seats first. They've added more forward-facing seating compared to the 5,000 series, and furthermore, the seats now have a pattern on them, something the older trains don't. On the subject of design, I like both the print on the seat dividers as well as the logo in the middle of the ceiling light. All these features, including the light itself, are new design elements for the CTA. LCD screens on the wall switch between route information and security camera footage for improved safety. The LED signs at the end of each car, which we first saw on the 5000 series, are now white LEDs instead of orange. Same with the little screen showing just the destination in the windows. If you know me, you know that these kinds of LED screens are a huge factor in whether I like a train or not. I just think it looks so much more modern. Clinton is next. Doors open on the left at Clinton. Connect to Metro and Amtrak Union Station at Clinton. Perhaps the one thing I like even more are LCD screens on the inside providing passenger information. And yes, the CTA has them here, both on the walls and hanging from the ceilings. That looks awesome. This is my favorite feature on the 7000 series by far. QIC Halstead is next. Doors open on the left at QIC Halstead. Transfer to Blue Line trains to Forest Park at QIC Halstead. Also, 
I swear that the voice doing the announcements changed. Listen to this and tell me if I'm tripping. Clinton is next. Doors open on the left at Clinton. Connect to Metro and Amtrak Union Station at Clinton. Clinton is next. Doors open on the left at Clinton. Transfer to Metro and Amtrak trains at Clinton. After UIC Halsted Station, the train pulls into a track in the middle of the main line to wait its return towards O'Hare. There are other trains that go to UIC Halsted that do something differently once they are out of service, but I'll save that for a future video coming very soon. Anyways, thank you to all my subscribers for getting us to 7,000 subs. I really love doing this and it's so great to know that there is so much support for me. If I get a chance to write on the 7000 series myself, I will definitely make another video. But for right now, I just want to thank Lindsay for providing this awesome footage. See you all next time, everybody.